Have you ever wondered what would happen if you were to inhale chlorine gas? You might associate chlorine with keeping swimming pools clean, but in its gaseous form, it's a completely different and much more dangerous story. So what exactly happens inside your body if you breathe it in? Stick around, because the answer might just shock you. First, let's get one thing straight. Chlorine gas is no joke. It was used as a chemical weapon in World War I for a reason. When you inhale it, the gas immediately comes into contact with the moisture present in your respiratory system. That includes your nose, throat, and most critically, your lungs. This is where the real trouble begins. Chlorine gas, or Cl2, reacts with water, H2O, in a chemical reaction that produces hydrochloric acid and hypochlorous acid. Yes, you heard that right, acid, forming directly inside your lungs. Imagine what acid does to delicate surfaces. It starts to corrode and destroy them. This is precisely what happens to the sensitive tissues lining your respiratory tract. The cells of your alveoli, the tiny air sacs where oxygen exchange occurs, are literally being eaten away. This chemical burn causes severe inflammation and swelling. Your body's natural response is to flood the area with fluid, leading to a condition called pulmonary edema. Essentially, your lungs start to fill with liquid. As your lungs fill with fluid, it becomes harder and harder to breathe. You'd feel an intense burning sensation in your chest, followed by violent coughing, wheezing, and a desperate gasping for air. It's like drowning, but from the inside out. The damage prevents oxygen from getting into your bloodstream, leading to a condition known as asphyxiation. Your body is starved of the oxygen it needs to function. Even a brief low concentration exposure can cause significant irritation, sore throat, and coughing. Higher concentrations or longer exposure times can be catastrophic. The damage can be so severe that your lungs are permanently scarred, leading to long-term respiratory problems if you survive. In the worst case scenario, the lack of oxygen and the extensive damage to the lungs can lead to respiratory failure and ultimately death. It's a terrifying reminder of how certain chemicals, even ones we use in diluted forms for cleaning, can be incredibly hazardous in their pure state. So, a whiff too many could be your last. It's a grim topic, but understanding the dangers is key to staying safe. Thanks for watching and exploring this bit of hazardous chemistry with me. If you found this interesting and want to learn more about the world around us, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you do and miss our next video. Stay curious and stay safe.